Welcome to another engine run video. Today we're going to run, I call it a what's it, because I have no idea. This came from an estate, very well known modeler in my area, British fellow, and maybe he made it. And he was in the hobby for many, many years. He actually, um, I think he was kind of like a, a bit of a mini dealer for, for PAW at one time here in uh, Ontario, Canada. So we have here an engine. It looks to me like it could have been a, we're going to call it a what's it. <laughs> we don't know what it is. It could have been a, a machine shop, his machine shop project, somebody's machine shop project, a home built of some sorts. Um, it came to me with no mounts, like no lugs, so I got some aluminum angle iron, drilled and tapped some holes, put the mounts on. The propeller is, is a hand carved, uh, it's an 11 inch. And the engine itself, the engine itself, um, well, somebody knows what this is, like pipe in, but uh, the engine itself has got a, a bore of uh, 0.667, the stroke of 7, 0.753, giving it a displacement of 0.26 cubic inch or 4.26 cc's. Propeller is an 11 inch, hand carved as I mentioned. And I fitted um, I fitted a needle valve assembly. It's actually from a Fox engine, but that yeah, works fine. Nothing wrong with it. Pretty low RPM motor. Not with a big propeller, wouldn't it? It, it would be, right? So. Compression's a bit, um, compression's good. Compression screw, contra piston is very tight. Um, I could take it apart, maybe lap that contra piston just a little bit better. But, uh, ah, I've gotten onto it now. It's, I just have to keep the compression down. Keep the compression down when I first start it up, and then it, uh, it'll build. back and forth play. It's the noise here.
Actual hot start. Ooh, lots of compression. Maybe not. Not that lucky. Maybe. That's a surprise. That's the first time I tried that actually. A hot start. Good compression. A little bit of noise there, no big deal. Well, I'm sure with a smaller propeller it would really spin up. I don't want to do that because well, it's quite an old motor. I don't think it was made for speed by any means. The, I, uh, I, when I disassembled it, I weighed up the, uh, the piston and the wrist pin and the connecting rod. Connecting rod steel, wrist pin is, or uh, connecting rod is steel, wrist pin is steel, both ends are brass bushed or bronze, I'm not sure, and then um, the piston is cast iron. That assembly comes in at um, 32 grams, a whopping 32 grams, <laughs> but she runs fine. So, whoever made this, he did a fine job. If you recognize the engine, uh, maybe from some old magazine, some old kit or something like that. Um, make a, send me a note, would you? Either on uh, wherever you see this posted video, okay? Thanks a lot. See you later.